Uh, so we're here with the players from Moreland Zembras. We've got Rosie, Crystal, and Jess. And we're going to learn a little bit about them, and then we'll just finish off with some fun, fun questions in the end. Um, do you want to introduce yourselves to start off with, Jess? Yeah, all right. So I'm Jess, currently playing at Moreland, um, play either in the midfield or the wing. Yeah. And yeah. Crystal? <laughs> I'm Crystal, yep, currently playing at Mall in this season um, and I've played just about every position but this year I'm um, on, the, on the, sorry, defensive wing, so left or right back um, but can play midfield as well. And Rosie? Uh, I'm Rosie, I'm Moreland obviously and play usually on the left wing or right wing. So Yeah, yeah perfect. Um, and Rosie, how did you get involved in football? Yeah, so I started when I was like in grade two, probably seven years old or eight, if that's how old you are in year two. And I started my, at South Melbourne, actually, my friend's dad was coaching and they needed more girls. So, yeah. And uh, Crystal? Um, I was a little bit of a late bloomer. I didn't get involved in the game until I was about 14. Um, And my brother played as a junior um, so uh, they had a girls team for the first time um, in uh, under 14s. And, um, yeah, my parents just encouraged me to, to have a go. So I did and still playing. Perfect. And Jess? Yeah, so I started late as well. I think I was 14 and it was only because I played school soccer. Yep. And then my coach told me you had to sign up for a team. And then, yeah, so I did from there. Perfect. And um, uh, I know that it's all of your first year at Mall and Zebra. just want to know kind of, how come you came across two more? Um, Crystal? Um, yep, so I've come across um, this year for the first year to Moreland. I've come across from the South East League. I played for Knox City for the last four years. Mm-hmm. Um, there are a couple of reasons why I came across. Um, I live um, sort of in a city, so the travel was a, was a big factor for me. Um, yeah. um, it's closer to home, um, so better balance in my lifestyle as well. Um, when I did, was having a look around the sort of Northwest League at, at clubs, um, I did notice that Jess was playing there as well. So I messaged Jess and said, hey, like it was pretty late um, in the piece. I came in sort of at the start of the year. Yeah. So I said, hey, like it was, how's it down there? And um, she said, yeah, come down for a, for a session. And I chatted to Sean and, yeah, everything that he sort of discussed in terms of his plan with the team was, sounded really exciting. So, yeah, I, I committed. Perfect. Yeah. And Jess? Yeah, so um, I was looking to take a step back from the MPL with med school and everything. And Cindy told me that she was going down to Moreland, um, that she'd be doing assistant coaching. I thought, oh, you know, we've played together for so many years. Why not play together again? So that was, um, yeah, one of the first reasons initially. But then talking to Sean and knowing about, like, Moreland and their plan for the women's and how they're hoping to expand quite big in that sense. Mm-hmm. And you know, they plan to sort of get promoted up into the NPL two, and then hopefully to the NPL after that. Really, um, yeah, made me want to come across. Perfect. And Rosie? Um, yeah, I'm kind of like Jess. I am in year twelve this year, so I kind of I've been playing NPL for quite a few years, and I kind of just wanted that step back to just kind of focus on my last year of school. Yeah. And um, yeah, I was just kind of trialing around at, like the MPL2 teams because I've got that new league and other teams. But then, yeah, I just kind of tried at Mullen and wasn't really expecting anything. And then I was talking to Sean and I really liked how they have their two-year vision. Yeah. And, yeah, I just felt like it's, although it's not MPL, it's, like, still challenging and still, mm-hmm. like, a really good group of girls. So, yeah, I like that. Yeah, no, I definitely agree there. And um, how are you finding the season so far, uh, Jess? Um, so we actually haven't started the season so far with all this um, <laughs> yeah, pandemic going on at the moment. Yeah. But um, I think we did really well in our pre-season. We worked really well together as a team and we um, sort of got through pre-season undefeated, which was good. Yep. And, yeah, looking forward to when the season does start eventually. Perfect. And Crystal? Yeah, um, I, I felt like the pre-season was started off really, really well. I, was, I came in a little bit later, so... Um, you know, there's always quite organised and um, the coaches really know what they're doing in terms of our skills and our fitness. So um, it's been, it was really, really good and I felt like the team was in a really good position and we were showing that with our results um, in, our, in our practice games as well. Yep. 
um, even during this time as well, the coach has been really great in terms of giving us uh, running to do and, um, you know, sessions online yep. as well. So, um, yeah, that's been really good. And the communication from from everywhere has been been really good in this time to make sure that we're ready to go when it when it does go back. So. Brilliant. And Rosie? Yeah, I mean, like the others said, we had a really good preseason, I'd say. And, um, yeah, one thing I've noticed in the past few months is that, like, how organised the club is and, Sean's been really good at being really optimistic about going back, which I think is good for the girls, keeping them, like, going as well. But, um, yeah, the running that he's been making us do, it's good because he's, like, keeping us accountable. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, I think the big thing is when we send him runs, I notice that he, like, replies, like, well done. And that's, like, kind of good that he kind of shows that he, like, appreciates us running, which is good. So Mm -hmm. I'm really liking that. Yeah. It's great to hear that. Um, Thank you for your time.